little dinky coon. As you can see here, small guy. But right along this beaver slough, a little old dam. I uh, have a little 330 clock on one of these little channels, but for some reason it keeps on flooding out even though we haven't had rain for a few days. But it's still there, nothing in it, I can tell. Another little uh, coon dagger right there, coon trail right along here, and a cat set right there. And the reason I always set this is for the fact that these little old beaver dams and stuff, when they're not flooded out like they are right now, they're a bridge, they're a little highway for these cats to get along, and cats, coyotes, fox, to cross from point A to point B without getting their feet wet. And so, they'll come out right here, I'll walk the trail, flagging, cat set. I have two other cat sets on the other side of the dam to the woods, about to take a different road to get there. I'm going to check here in, in a few, but what we're going to do today to this coon is uh, release this guy because we're mean trappers. We want to just, we're bloodthirsty, we want to kill everything. So I'm going to release this coon, let him go, and keep moving on. Here we are today, guys, out in this creek. You can see we got a nice beaver here. The line set, a little cash lure smeared up here. Went down here. Another beaver down there as well. I should have set three traps here, but this is actually all flooded out yesterday because there's another beaver hit on the road right up there. So you can see. Nice one there. Oh, this is actually an otter. And you can see this is actually an otter right here. So this is why you should gang set. I wish I would have set more traps here yesterday. I just couldn't. It was all, I had the water probably up to my knees. And I uh, literally had to bring these trees in right here. It's blocking in from way downstream to get them. But I'm gonna put one more trap around the band up here. But you can see beaver, otter. I've had, I've had another trap here. Up front, I would have had a nice, uh, another nice beaver. We'll take care of them. I'll show you how my setup is again in a second. And we'll go on from there. All right, let me share some of you guys. Here's a spot where I've caught several coyotes and fox. <clears throat> yeah, I actually had a coyote on video here the other day that I think I put on YouTube uh, when I caught. And I have a flat sit over here. A little bit of gland lure and uh, fox pee. Very subtle. Um, just in case, a lot of times when something's really loud, the coyotes will get nervous. And uh, a lot of times they won't come to that dirt hole the first night. They'll hit a flat set. What I'm dealing with now, I'm dealing with, I want to say it's either a fox or bobcat. It's something that's uh, stepping really light. I've had this set here for a few days. And the last two nights, it's been robbed. And I, that's why you, I'm using bait right now, too, which is good because it's coming back. The night before, I used some bobcat chunks down there. And uh, last night, I had half a duck come back, gone. And that's, I, that set blocked down pretty good. So I don't know how we would get in there. But I'm guessing it's stepping so light and it's been really, uh, it's kind of rain and been moist here. So I'm guessing maybe some clay kind of clogged it up. I don't know. So I opened this set up a little bit more and blocked it down lightly. Just with some sticks. But you see it's the pattern. It's still very open. So I did that, lure, uh, baited it back up with some RK and good to go. But then I came here and I kind of call it my little come and get it set. Super gaudy, super nasty dirt hole. And a big old dirt hole down there. And you can see it. In the hole, there's a half a duck carcass again. But on top of that duck carcass, I throw in like a, like a rock and some sticks or whatever on top of it. Make it heavy. Make it hard for that animal to get it out. So what I think this has been doing, I th I want, that's why I think it's a fox or a cat. It's been kind of walking the edges up in here, kind of going through my back end to get down that hole. not really walking in the pattern too much because I literally cannot see any tracks. So this one right here basically says, if you want this duck, if you want this, you're going to walk way deep, deep in here. And you're going to fight for it and get it out. And hopefully it won't come up from behind, which I've seen it come up behind before, but kind of limited to where I'm at. But and I doubt they'll move tonight because it's supposed to get down to probably like uh, like 20 tonight or something and windy. But hopefully with a night or two, whatever's coming through here, if he wants to mess with that set, and they have not been touching the flats, I don't think. Again, it's a, there's no track, so it has to be a fight like a gray or a cat. But here's that come and get it set. And this will make the animal work the pattern hard, really walk all over that pattern good. And uh, I mean, super gaudy, a lot of eye appeal, but hopefully it'll keep on working. Just coming from 
a, a body grip set down the creek, maybe 100 yards away from these other two I checked yesterday. It rained all night. And trap is gone. Where the freak is it? Oh, there it is. And another otter right there. That was a stick in the water. That's a nice one. Another otter there. And looks like a beaver down here. Yeah, another big beaver. This is the set yesterday where I caught the uh, otter right here. So another set just around the bend of that creek. And uh, that was wide open. So I guess these beaver were coming down creek. And there's the otter. And that's where I caught the beaver yesterday. Reset it. And uh, keep on going. Supposed to get really cold tonight. So I doubt them. anything will move much tomorrow. But we'll see what happens. I'll reset these and show you what's up. Alright, here's the remakes. Very simple. Super easy guys to trap animals in a creek. All right, there's really not much skill. The only skill involved really for me is blocking and knowing what side the animal wants to run. Shallow side, deep side, has an undercut bank. They'll go up there, they'll search a crawfish, mussels, all that. They'll run the deep side. I can't stress enough, block it off a ton. Who cares? There's a lot of folks that sit there and say, uh, the otter, if you block them off a ton, or a beaver, uh, it just makes them nervous. Yeah, not, I'm not worried about a creek. If they want to get from point A to point B, they will go through the trap. And there's the other set. Block it off real good. I made that pinch point. 